Welcome to today's 3D print. This video is in particular directed at Marion Cravens. He suggested that I was running too hot. I mean, I like to run my printers hot, but I didn't realize they were actually causing me print quality issues. I just finished printing this Benchy on the printer. It is one of the best Benchies I've ever printed. The only, um, I've only printed two Benchies this good. Um, um, my, probably about equal, maybe slightly better was my Flexion Extruder, braced up, highly modified Maker Select, and my CR10 did better. But this is off the A9010. And the only change I made was this corrected shroud and part cooler um, and lowered the temperature from 220 to 200. It's the only change I made. And this is one of the nicest Benchies I have ever printed. Seriously, come on, lock in there, baby. There you go. Play nice. Virtually zero zits. This tiny, um, oh, there you go. This tiny little banding you see here that's my bent Z rod. You can ignore that, I'll probably have that fixed tomorrow. The bottom was perfect, as you can see. It looks like I'm under extruding a tiny bit, so I'm going to increase the extrusion a little bit. Um, the um, that got tore off because I too much squish into the print and Z, and so it tore a chunk out of it. So that's not. A print quality issue that was too much squish um, you can read the back hashtag 3d Benji the hole looks great the mast hole just a teeny bit of splooge there the chum bucket in the back here is perfect the window is virtually perfect including the overhang the bridging there This is amazing. See if I can get you shot inside there. There you go. There's the wheel. The anchor holes. Damn near perfect. The bow's perfect. That little line you see in there, I'm pretty sure that is the Z-Wobble doing that. Because it wasn't doing that before. So that little bit there, I think, is my bent Z rod, my bent rod, which I should have fixed tomorrow. That was my fault, not the printer's fault. Oh wow, I didn't realize there was a frame around the front window. Holy crap, that's how nice that is. There's actually a frame around that front window, like the door here. It's less pronounced, so I didn't even realize it was there. <laughs> this is nice. The roof is clean, the decks are clean, the smokestack is clean. This is this is truly amazing. And this is not at 100 microns, this is at 200 microns. And I jacked up the speed to 150%. <laughs> I didn't want to wait so long, it took it an hour and 36 minutes to print this. Just the tiniest, tiniest little bit of zitting here and there. Almost none. Thank you, Marianne, for that suggestion. I believe a, a big reason for this improvement, besides the improved part cooling, is lowering the temperature. So I guess I'll use my generic PLAs at 200 from now and only increase the temperature if I have trouble. That is impressive. Very, very impressive. And this is with um, 3D Solutec, real orange. You can see how very, very orange it is. I love this PLA. It's not as creamy, buttery, smooth, and strong as Esun's PLA Pro, but Esun's PLA Pro is more of a peachy orange, while this is more of a true orange. I really, really like this. I mean, I can hardly find any flaws in this thing. It really is that impressive. I can't believe this ANET printer did this. <laughs> it really is pretty amazing. Trying to stay within the sweet spot of the focal plane for you guys. Look at that. That is really nice. I love this printer. It's never going to be competition for my CR10, but 
on its own. Oh, I'm going to make a lot of rocket parts of this because I, I'm, I'm even seriously considering eventually down the road, if I can afford it, grabbing another one of these so I can have two of them just belt. Yeah, I, could, I could put four of them on this table. These cables have so much excess that's something that people do with the CR-10 that I will not do with my CR-10, um, but I can do with this is to put feet on this so the control box can go underneath. And then this is rigid enough for me to mount the spool holder up here. This is more than rigid enough to tolerate that, especially since I have my jerk and acceleration cut in half, so the printer's not gonna be yanking itself around too much. And you can hear how quiet it is. 100% of the noise you're hearing is coming from the one hunt duplicator i3, not this. Um, this is cool. I'm enjoying it. I'm trying to make a fan grill for this thing, but I need longer screws. So far, I tried to sandwich these because it was touching the center here. And um, these are noise blocker, $10 fans. I replaced that one, and I put two in here to replace the two that are in here. So now this thing is silent. doesn't make a noise. Just a little whirring of the stepper motors, which are far quieter than normal. That's it. More to come. Tomorrow, I get to build that. <laughs> uh, I got enough... Um, paver and rewards points on my Amazon card to allow me to buy that. That is an Ender 2. 199 bucks on Amazon Prime shipped. I'm planning on making that a um, like a dedicated nose cone and centering machine because it's nice and tiny. It's half the size of this. And go from there. You guys have a great night.